Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Kane Velasquez. All right, here's the former UFC heavyweight champion and in all likelihood future UFC Hall of Famer, Kane Velasquez. You guys have been sharpening each other's skills for years, and it's good to see Kane back and healthy here tonight. Exactly where he belongs. Kane Velasquez is a fighter, and he deserves to be fighting inside of the octagon. One of the tighter strikers the UFC has ever seen in the heavyweight division. The cardio, the pace, the pressure that you face when you fight a Kane Velasquez is overwhelming. Guys melt, and it's because after one round, you realize we're just getting started. Right. And Kane's only revving up the engine. It's truly, truly difficult to stare on the barrel of a fight with Kane Velasquez. And he hasn't necessarily adopted my cardio Kane moniker, but there are <laughs> few guys that can match the cardiovascular strength of the great Kane Velasquez. Big spot for him here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Velazquez is two years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King And now it could be his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Right. Right. Round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grapplers in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this match. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chance. Takedown defense holds up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
just out of range with that right hand. Effective punch there by Choi. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And he landed the right hand there. The last guess cheap looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Wild swing there. And now he's got the tie catch. And there comes the separation now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Big head kick lands. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. And now he's got that. He takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He's having his way with him here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Velazquez is back in full now. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Five seconds remain in the round. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Ground and pound strike is true. 15 seconds. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Velazquez. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Great work. We won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip 
for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next Good round, fight. and we'll see if he can Ready. pick up where he left off. Good. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. And they separate. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, stuffs the takedown. Oh, right there, this opponent's won the champ. He's to grab. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent ready. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the turn? Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velazquez. Just over three minutes to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cain Velazquez. Well, he's got his back now. Velazquez is right back to the full mount here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Good work from the top here by Velazquez. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Back mount now. Under the net. Oh, and now he finds him out. Do you see a couple of hooks in? This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Sound strike on the ground. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Velazquez is right back to the full mount. Under a minute to go in round two. Seconds remain in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Velazquez. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Man, this is 
with some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters that we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You're starting to take a lot of damage to that eye. He just circled away from that side. You have to be careful now. Be cautious. Keep your hand up. Move and use You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Takedown, no problem. That's another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. Oh, he keeps strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jujitsu gym around the country. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Three minutes to go in the round. Able to land the single ground strike there. Velazquez's pass attempt denied. Across the midpoint in this one. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Velazquez is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Well, the grounded pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velazquez. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, you didn't see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Choi. Time this shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, 
there's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with that right hook. Velazquez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. but it gets blocked. Good punch, Lance. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Velasquez has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. See his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being active, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Takes him down. Velasquez well, has got full mount now. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Velasquez. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Oh, collar tie. Velasquez gets the tie clinch here. 
And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt. Oh, yes, tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Single collar tie here. That strike blocked by Velasquez. Oh, man. Velasquez gets caught with that punch. Single collar tie now. And there's a takedown attempt. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh! He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, so an issue. Wow! of adversity for him here. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Fifth and final round. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Nice punch there by the last. Wild attempt with the right hand there. And they separate. All right, he engages in a huge the elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got a go take oh. Huge right hand! and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number five. Declared the winner by Knockout Kane Velasquez. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.